Hello everyone, if you guys are looking for cleaning and organizing inspiration, you've come to the right place. I have put together an hour video of everything from reorganizing your pantry from the Dollar Tree to an extreme toy clean out where I get rid of 80% of my daughter's toys. And then I have a fridge deep clean. And of course I have my everyday cleaning routine that I do around the house. And I've put together some of my favorite songs so you guys can sit back, relax, and get some cleaning and organizing ideas and inspiration so i hope you guys enjoy this video and it gets you motivated to get all that stuff done on your list that you need to do hey guys welcome back to my channel so i'm sure you've already read the title today i'm going to be showing you guys how to organize your pantry for twenty dollars from the dollar tree i have these bins right here i've actually used these before and i have these labels from amazon about seven dollars these are $1.25 at the Dollar Tree. Let me show you guys how I use these. Let me show you my pantry. It's a little bit of a hot mess right now. That's okay, guys. We're gonna put this into different zones and I'm gonna use the chalk labels with the chalk pen and we're gonna get this all organized today. I'm gonna take everything out. I'm gonna clean all the shelving, the floor, get rid of anything that I don't need. So I'm gonna purge items. Then I'm gonna set up zones. And um, yeah, it's gonna be a totally transformed pantry when I'm done. So guys, let's get started. Okay guys, let me give you a quick tour. And I'm just gonna warn you guys that yesterday there was some coconut flakes that dropped from the top shelf. Could have been the cat, could have been one of my kids, but there was a bag of coconut that was dropped from the top shelf and the coconut flakes went everywhere. So it's, it's okay because I'm gonna be taking everything everything out and cleaning it anyway so probably happened at the best time I've already did a little bit of sweeping because it went everywhere but as you can see you can see right there I have coconut flakes everywhere all right guys so let me show you guys up here what I usually do is I usually keep cereal and granola and stuff like that and then back there all the way in the back if you guys can see because I can't even see that there's baking stuff which I may relocate that stuff I'm not sure right now and then we can't see but but I already have these bins I bought these at Walmart probably like over 10 years ago so I might redo the labels on these but you can't even see everything because it's just so covered up by everything I have some rice there and then canned goods I have three lazy Susans in the corners which I will keep because that pretty much helps me stay organized with the canned goods in the back there and then I usually do pasta, pasta sauce on this shelf. I have condiments, my aluminum foil, my baggies and everything there. I have lots of tuna fish here. This is just extra stuff. The peanut butter and jelly is usually around here. And then I do have these containers that I do keep for my bread machine. I usually fill these up all at the same time so I can just grab one and make a loaf of bread really quickly. Seaweed snacks right there. I have my nuts and seeds right here, my chicken broth. I have breadcrumbs and croutons and stuff like that over here. Some fish fry. And then on the bottom, it's just, it's a hot mess. It's just, I have some bins and it's kind of a little bit organized. I have some tissues right here, back in here. I have napkins, some paper products. And then at some point it just, everything was thrown in there then over here i have my little mopping bucket i have my broom and everything over here and then i bought these huge bulk sugar i actually have to get some buckets for those and put those somewhere else then i have pancake mix some potatoes and some more rice right there so yeah i'm gonna remove everything out of here and i'm gonna clean it up and then we're gonna go through everything and then i'll show you guys the bins all right let's get started okay guys so this is the kit that i bought on amazon thought we could open this together this has 96 labels one marker 10 designs so 48 large 30 medium 18 small this is the brand i will try to link this below in the description box let's open this up let's see what we got okay all right so in the envelope there's my labels there is a little fold here but that's okay i'll work around that and then i have this chalk marker right here if this one is not good then i already have a backup i have one from the dollar tree i can use so we'll see how this one is all right so these are the small and then this is the mediums i just realized that these labels right here i actually tested one out right here they're a lot smaller than the ones i have on the bins already so i'm going to show you guys the difference and what i'm going to try to do is i'm going to try to find some on amazon and i'm going to try to link them below that closely resemble the ones that i have size wise i'll show you guys an example of this one too so if you guys do want to get this one then yeah just pick whatever size you guys want okay guys so there's the label that i currently have on the bins 
and then this is the size of their label. I'm gonna show you the one that I already put. I put this one right here on one of the bins and show you the difference of size. All right, guys, so this is the one from Amazon in this package right here. That's the size. It's actually, it's a pretty good size right there. This is the one that I have that I made a long time ago. They probably do sell this size on Amazon. I'm just gonna have to track these down. So yeah, there's the two different size, guys. You can go ahead and go with this one if you like that. If you like a larger one, then check my description below. Let's get started. Okay guys, this is the chalk marker that comes with the kit. And I really like this marker. This is pretty good. All right, so I'm gonna give you an example of this one. There it is guys. I love it. It looks really good. Okay guys, so I'm gonna start on the bottom level right here. And I have these crates that I'm gonna use just to make it a lot easier. I'm gonna try to throw everything in here, fill them up as much as I can to make the process go a little quicker. Okay guys, I've emptied everything out of the bottom level. I'm gonna go ahead and sweep this. I'm gonna do a mop later. Just to make it easier, I don't wanna be stepping on this when I'm pulling everything else out. Only one of you, only one of me. There's a million of those who won't let us be. But they're not gonna, not gonna see me bleed. Cause baby, I got you, 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 you. I've been beaten to the ground, dragged across the dirt. I've been scared to live cause some people never learn. But they're not gonna, not gonna watch me burn Cause baby, I got you, 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 you It's a new beginning and a better life It's a dancing underneath the disco lights They can try but they can never take me down Cause I'm not afraid, I'm not afraid Hey guys, I've taken everything out. It's empty. The only things I'm leaving are the three Lazy Susans in the middle. I'm just gonna leave those and I'm gonna clean all around that. Those are just my canned goods and uh, they're already organized. So I'm just gonna leave those and I'm gonna start cleaning. I don't know if you guys can see here. I have all these coconut flakes. And then of course I just need to scrub it down because it's been a while since it's had a good scrubbing. I mean, I haven't emptied the whole pantry out since I moved in. So if you guys are interested, this these liners right here, it pretty much keeps everything from falling down into the cracks. So those are nice. I installed those as soon as I moved in. So yeah, let's get started. That's it, I have already cleaned everything. I vacuumed, wiped down all the shelving and swept and mopped the floor. So it is very clean as you guys can see. Yeah. So everything is fresh and clean and what I'm gonna do is go ahead and start getting the bins together. And yeah, we're gonna get everything put back in here. So I have all my bins laid out. They're ready for everything to be put back in. I already wrote everything on them. Have them sitting over there because my kitchen is crazy right now. This is everything from my pantry. So I pretty much laid everything out on the island. I have more on the floor over here because we really couldn't fit everything up there. So now I'm going to go ahead and get rid of some of this stuff that doesn't need to come back in and everything else we're gonna organize into bins. Oops. 
place, a new home for a while. Let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back. I wanted to show you what I ended up doing with all of my aluminum foil and plastic wrap and baggies and everything. So I used to have it in the pantry and I thought it'd work really good in this drawer right here because really I was just keeping some barbecue accessories and just some random stuff right here. This worked out so much better to have my freezer bags in the back, my regular bags right here. I have my wax paper, aluminum foil and plastic wrap. And then I have my really small snack bags and then my ultra cheap ones that I just use for like stuff that doesn't need to be wrapped tight. Yeah, I have all different sizes and everything fits perfectly in this drawer right here. So that gave me a whole extra bin for the pantry. Okay guys, I already have these. These are basically my baking supply and I'm gonna go ahead and rewrite the labels to match my bins, the same writing style. A new place, a new home, for a while, let me feel alive. Nothing to hold me back, take my time, just enjoy the ride. I know man, passing by, life is good, best I've ever felt. Get me up, so in it, so where I can find myself. I'm gonna do is I'm gonna grab a bin. I'm gonna fill it up over here, and at the end, I'm gonna put all the bins back into the pantry. Cause I found my way Got me feeling cool, Ooh, you 
got me feeling blue Something but you so see through Something just stay right by you here that you're seeing and I'm ready to show you the reveal. So you guys ready? Oh yeah. Look at that pantry. Check it out. I'm going to show you guys close up. Give you guys a little tour. It is all organized. It is all clean. I'm gonna show you guys everything that I've done. So right here I have my cleaning supplies, a little mop bucket. And in this bin right here, I just have some potatoes and overflow rice. This one I have all paper products, napkins and cups and plates and all that. I have my tissues right here, some extra soap. And back here I have my trash bags. Then I have my recycle bin right there in the corner. And then on this shelf right here, we have one bin for peanut butter, snacks, and more snacks. Over on this one, I have croutons and breadcrumbs, and then I have chicken broth and nuts and seeds. Yeah, and over on this wall right here, and I've had this for a long time, but this is just my little bag organizer, my little throw your Walmart bags or Target or whatever, and this holds a lot of bags. You just hang this up on the wall. I love this thing right here. I would definitely recommend this bag holder. This is amazing. So then over here, I have bread and tortillas, and then canned meat. I just put all my tuna, chicken, and salmon in this bin. I have a lot of it, so I decided to make a bin just for this. And then in this one, I have soups. And then over here, I have condiments and salad dressing and vinegar and oil. I separated all this. I used to have two bins of condiments and it was just crazy. So this keeps it a lot more organized. And the Lazy Susans in the back, this is for all my canned goods. And this just makes it really easy to just turn this around and see what I have. I've had these for a long time and I like these because if, if you don't have these in the corner, then this space kind of just doesn't get used or you start storing stuff back here, you don't even know what you have. So these Lazy Susans, they make it really great for that corner space in these kind of pantries. You can see that right there. So on this level, the next level up, I have my pasta sauce. And then I have two things of pasta because I have a lot of pasta. And then in this one, I have grains dried beans, and then I labeled this one Mexican. Top shelf, I have pancake mix, some cereal, granola, and then I might get another one of these containers, but I went ahead and added a label there from the kit that I bought on Amazon, and I put cereal on there. Over here I have oatmeal. I have a lot of these little packs of oatmeal right here for the kids. And then in the corner over here, I have baking, I have cupcake kits and sprinkles and little cupcake liners and all that over there. After I finished filming, I actually had more to the set and I found, I think it was about six or seven more bins. So I ended up labeling these and just throwing these in here. I love the set so much, I might buy a few pieces to add to this collection. Maybe I wanna do like a bin for walnuts, maybe oatmeal, loose oatmeal and stuff like that. But yeah, let's get one more look of the after. So you guys can see that the the labels really pop out. These are just dollar bins from the Dollar Tree. It cost me $20 to do this. And I already had those baskets. Like I said, these bins are the wash bins from Dollar Tree and just throw you some labels. These are the extra large ones. Get you a little chalk pen and wow, it's just amazing what some cheap dollar bins can do with some chalk labels. I am so happy with this. I hope you enjoyed this video and I hope this gives you some inspiration to get your pantry organized or really any closet. Make sure you guys like and subscribe and let me know in the comments below what you guys think. Thanks for watching.
So today I have a different video. I'm actually gonna go through all my daughter's toys today. Very so messy. we're gonna donate, we're gonna donate to charity and hopefully some other kids will enjoy the toys. All right guys, let's get started. So this is what I'm working with. She has a lot of toys and this has actually just been stressing me out. It's gonna be a big relief for me to go through these and I feel good about donating them to charity. I wanna go ahead and put everything right here in the middle. We'll go ahead and start with the first batch. I do have more downstairs, but I wanna pour everything right here. So let's get started, guys. It's electric when you kiss me. Never felt this way before. We're magnetic. Wanna stay here closer than close. Up in the clouds, I can see the whole world now. Breathtaking world, can't believe my eyes. Up in the sky. to keep my head up I wish for once you would let me win I'm sick and tired of rehearse lines I let it slide for a long time you're in denial so I'm out of trial again Yeah. 
haven't seen this whole pizza set in a long time. We're still looking for that last pizza slice. Wish us luck. enough crayons for back to school. What do you guys think? So this is it, we're done. I have two bags ready for charity and I have the bag of blocks. Also I have that kitchen back there and the refrigerator. I have the vacuum and then the stroller and I'm down to two baskets right there and right there. And then the last is just to go ahead and put this Barbie stuff back into the Barbie house. I will do that in a bit and yeah, let's go ahead and get this stuff taken out. So now I just want to go ahead and clean her furniture. I'm going to start with this nightstand. I'm going to go ahead and clean the front, clean the top, wipe down the lamp. There's a good amount of stuff right here. I'm hoping it'll all come out. I know there's a couple spots that don't come out. I haven't tried the magic eraser yet though. This drawer right here, I do want to organize it. We've just kind of thrown everything in here. So I do have a bow organizer I'll show you in a little bit. And I want to recycle this little Barbie toy and put her stuff in there. Because why not? If I can reuse something, then that would be great. And then the last drawer down here, we just threw her books in there and she has some sheets. So that's really not much for me to do. So I'll just tidy that up. And then it looks like she has spilled something on the front. So I'm going to go ahead and wipe that up. And then I'm going to go ahead and work on her larger dresser. I'm going to wipe down the top and clean the front. There are a couple spots on here that are stains that I know are not going to come out. But I'm going to go ahead and clean everything. And these right here are the bow organizers that I wanted to show you guys. I've had these for a while. We ordered these on Amazon. I have one unicorn and one mermaid. And this is a great way if you have a lot of bows and accessories to keep them organized. Do color coordinate. I usually do the pink and the purples on the mermaid and then all the other colors on the unicorn. So it's easy and fast to get ready in the morning. I'll show you guys those in a bit.
Another lazy afternoon. The clouds covered in gray. Third coffee of the day. Almost fell asleep on Zoom. I yawn at the display. Third meeting of the day. But I can hear raindrops step dancing on the roof. It's like they're calling out, "Don't lose your youth," 'cause I can stay inside and wrap my wings. I all make today just a little less mundane. Oh, I can stay inside and wrap my wings. I all take today for this and then. That's it, guys. We are done. I am so relieved. I feel so much better that we have probably gotten rid of way more than 50% of her toys. They're going to go to charity, so I feel really great about that. It's something I've been wanting to do for a long time. So, guys, make sure you like and subscribe to my channel, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Hey guys welcome back to my channel so i just need to clean up the kitchen my normal routine and we have a big mess here from last night doing a little cooking need to get the dishes done i'm going to empty the dishwasher clean the stove and i need to do some sweeping because there are cheerios all over my floor then i need to clean up the living room so i'm going to break down these walmart boxes i have actually it's one walmart one amazon my daughter likes to use these as a fort so i'm gonna go ahead and break these down she is done playing with these and then the last area I need to do is the morning room. I have an area where my cat is playing in my plants and I'm trying to find a solution to that. But for now, I need to go ahead and clean that up. And then the last thing I'm going to do is sweep the whole first floor. Let's get started, guys. <laughs> That's when you caught my eye But I saw someone, it didn't feel right I waited for you, thought I was sure When you came around, I thought I wanted more How many times do you wanna play around? How many times do I have to call you out? I kept on waiting for you patiently When all you ever did was lie to me I've wasted so much time on you when you never cleaning my island. I'm going to go ahead and move on to the next area. I'm going to do these dishes last 
because I still have some dirty dishes coming in I need to get from the living room. The next area I work on is right here by my stove and then I will tackle that stove. We did cook last night so I have a little bit of a mess going on and the last will be the dishes. Uh -huh.
yes, I am done with the kitchen. I have cleaned the granite. I have done the dishes, emptied the dishwasher, loaded them up, cleaned over by the stove, cleaned the stove and by the toaster. So now I will move on to this living room right here. Watch your aura pass me by, losing balance What if we run out of time and second chances? Empty and dead You like to pass life You like to drive and get done dirty Like, 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 like You want some love, you like when you feel like calling me mm, You got the best of me You got me losing speed Clean up the whole living room, swept the whole first floor, and I cleaned up this mess over here. My cat made, which I'm not sure what she's doing with the plants lately. She's actually not my cat. I'm kind of fostering her, I'm trying to learn her habits and everything. Okay, guys, that's it for today's video. We'll see you in the next one. Welcome back to my channel. So today I need to tackle this right here. I need to clean my fridge and do a little organizing. It's a bit of a mess right now, as you can see. Yeah, that's what I'm working with. It's been a little while. There's my snack drawer. And then this is my deep freezer. What I really wanna do in here, I need to just reorganize this. This is crazy. This is really crazy right now. I have just fruit mixed with the vegetables and it's just crazy and chaos. You know, it starts out good and I don't know what happens. So I need to get this back on track. I wanna do some bins in here. Yeah, like that ice cube tray mm -hmm, right there. That's not supposed to be there. My son makes smoothies and looks like he just threw it in the bottom. Do wanna show you? Let me close this up. Look at the Chick-fil-A sauce. Look at this. Need to get that cleaned up. Before I do that, you know you cannot work in a crazy space. Oh yeah, let's look at this. Is something sticky right there on the handle? Okay, and then my whole fridge needs to be cleaned obviously on the outside. But before I can do that guys, I need to go ahead and take care of these dishes because we all know we can't get into cleaning when it's a mess first. So I need to get these taken care of. So yeah, let's get started guys.
Outside my window Is everything pale and cold Can't seem to pick up my phone It's been ringing all day long Behind these clothes I know the sun will be But today's raining So be patient with me I'll be right Somehow I must be Somewhere the sky is blue Okay guys, so I have finished the dishwasher, loaded it up, and I already cleaned the sink out, so I'm ready to go ahead and start on the refrigerator. All right guys, let's get started. Somewhere the sky is blue. stuff out I'm gonna leave this in here because the other two were the most dirty and I'm going to go ahead and clean this out and then I'll put everything back in I'll do the two drawers last Hey okay, guys, this is the leftover spaghetti I actually have a video that I made on my shorts it's a short video go check it out okay let's try this
I finished cleaning the inside of the refrigerator and the next part I'm going to do is the snack drawer and the freezer and then I will do the outside last. Darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around, want to see it now. Pack our bags and get in that car, leave a little note and we'll drive real far. Let's get out, we can leave this city, let's drive to the ocean. Countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand oh, Hey, darling I love it when it's me and you On the road with a couple of tunes in a car for two Hey darling You know we're gonna have a really good time Driving in the middle of the night when the stars are bright Pack our bags and get in that car Leave a little note and we'll drive real far Countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life I wanna make it count, honey Come on now and take my hand It's amazing what a little soap and water can do. Let's get out, we can leave this city. Let's drive to the open air. Yeah, the countryside is so pretty. With the wind blowing in your hair. We can look back someday. Baby, don't you understand? That we only get one life on one. Guys, now I want to put the basket back in because I got all behind here that was dirty too. I think I want to do fruit in this bin and then over here will just be extra stuff that I'm just not quite sure. I'm gonna throw the avocados in there too because I like to put these in smoothies. Because I couldn't see what was in there, I have another bag of avocados. If you guys hear any craziness, that's my cat running around. She's over there and she's in a hyper mood right now. Okay, I have another bag of strawberries in my deep freezer, but for now, this is gonna be it for this bin. I'm gonna put these. These are just frozen basil and ginger. When you want one, you just Take it right out of the package. I'm gonna put these in the little drawer that's in the front. Along with my daughter's frozen yogurt, I'm gonna stick these right in the front for her. I'm gonna go ahead and put these ice packs back in. These are for my kids' lunches. 
I'll go ahead and do my vegetables right here and whatever meats that I have I'm gonna put over here. Now I do have a deep freezer and that's where I keep most of my meats, but anything that I have that I wanna eat soon, I put in here. That's it guys, I am done. Right here is my fruit, my extra stuff, my ice cube trays over there. Now everything is nicely organized in the bins and then I have my really small stuff in the front pocket. And then down here, I have my vegetables and all my meats. So let's go ahead and clean the outside and wrap this up. Hey guys, that's a wrap. I have officially cleaned the whole refrigerator inside and out and it looks amazing. Okay guys, thanks for watching. Make sure you check out my next video. Thanks guys. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You just gotta trust the right. You don't have to be scary. Glass lock oven safe 24 piece glass food storage set. It's by Members Mark, so I'm going to pull all these out and show you guys. Okay, this is my problem that I have with the Pyrex. After a while, what happens is these crack. So what you end up is a whole set of glass containers with no lids, because eventually these lids end up cracking. So I figured I would try the snap version and see if that's any better. All of these out and I'll show you guys all of these at the end. So I've opened everything up. I'm gonna show you guys the sizes that you get. These are the two largest ones. Get two of these size. I don't know if you can see the difference. Two of these, two of these, two of these, and then you get one small like rectangle size and then a small little square. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and organize this whole cabinet right here, take everything out, get rid of all my Pyrex, get these washed and put them back up in there and organize everything. these are drying I'm gonna go ahead and take all this out and I'm gonna lay everything out on my island to see what I'm working with which could be dangerous by the way you never know until you start pulling all this stuff out and all the nooks and crannies just how much stuff you really have so I could regret this I'm gonna use this Lysol mango and hibiscus smells really good love this Okay, so I have everything emptied out, just a few things that tucked away in the corners. Those still have lids and they're really practically new, so I'm gonna leave those. And I've already cleaned everything. And I do have these two shelf dividers that I use just to get more stuff in there. You know, we need to cram more in there because I have so much stuff. So yeah, hopefully once I reorganize, this will look a lot better. So let me show you guys what I have on the island. Okay, let me show you guys. This is crazy because this is a big island right here. So yeah, guys, look at all this stuff right here. Just from that little cabinet over there, that one cabinet, and this is what came out of it. And this is not actually everything. I have a couple of those Pyrex containers, still using those in the fridge. I have some tuna in one, so when that's gone, I'll get rid of that too, and I'll use my new containers. Some of these I'm keeping, like these are relatively new, and I do like these because these main containers just pop right into the lids to keep them nice and organized. So I do like these and I'm gonna keep my big containers. So there's a few pieces in here I will keep and then there's some stuff I'm gonna purge. So let's, let's do this. Okay, so I'm gonna get rid of all this and get this out of here. food 
containers, I usually save these. So if I need to send somebody some leftovers or anything like that, these are really good for that. But I don't usually keep these with my regular Tupperware. This is what I have I'm keeping and I'm gonna go ahead and put this back in there and I'm gonna get the new ones in there too. Okay, what I think I'm gonna do is I'm going to nestle some of these in here to save space. So the square with the square. And then I'm gonna do that with a few pieces because I think that's the best route to go. What do you guys do? You guys put the lids on all your containers. Do you guys leave them off to nestle them? What do you guys do to maximize your space? Let me know in the comments below. You just gotta let them flow without judge. There's so many ways to be happy. You can do whatever you like. You don't have to be ready. You just gotta try. Everything fit. I did have to nestle a couple of them, but otherwise we got everything in there and it's all nice and organized. So let me show you guys up close. Also, I feel like the square takes up less space than the round ones. Like, I feel like they just nestle and fit better. I don't know why I, I bought the round ones before. I feel like the square maximizes the space in the cupboard and in the fridge. What do you guys think? So yeah, guys, that's it. I'm really loving these containers. I'm so glad I got rid of the old ones. Can't wait to try these out. But if you guys have tried them, let me know. And um, yeah, I will see you guys in the next one. Welcome back to my channel. So today I thought we would do a clean with me video since my kitchen is a hot mess. And I'm gonna take it one room at a time because my house is a little messy right now. I'm not gonna lie. It, you know, life. Okay, let me show you. Let me show you. This is my kitchen. And as you can see, I have some food to put away. I need to clean the countertops. I have about a load of dishes to do. I need to unload what's in the dishwasher. My stove is a mess there. I need to clean that up. Let's get started. They have the gold rim on the top and for the price point these are amazing cool. so if you guys don't sleep on this brand right here this is So um, just don't look at my Tupperware cabinet because we're not organizing that today. And right now, all I'm gonna say is just don't judge me, okay?
is cleared out and clean. That's progress right there. Okay. All right, so what I need to work on now is I need to get all these countertops right here clean, put away some of that stuff right there. My stove is definitely a mess, okay? Been doing some cooking, okay? We cook up in here a lot, so I need to clean all that up. I lose my breath whenever I see you watching my video and I have a lot more stuff to do I'm gonna organize the whole bar area soon you said you were coloring in my picture Wow okay she looks like she's saying bye and that's how we're gonna end this video so we will see you in the next one <laughs>